Eddie Lewis, wide receiver at the U of M. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Eddie Lewis, double underscore. It's Louis B. The Beat Plug. It mean a lot. I can say that though, because if you know my story, I done been through a lot. Like when it comes to school and like going through school, I done been to every step so far. Like in prep, going D1 and then going to JUCO and then going back D1 again. So it's just like I done been through all phases. And now I'm at this point where it's like I can either catch this pass that I'm getting or I could drop it, or one or the other. You feel me? So like I don't know. It's I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell myself nothing for real, for real. I, I'll tell them, like, yo, just stay focused, though. Like, you're going to get everything you're asking for. You just can't rush it. Because I feel like that's what, what my problem was in the beginning when I first got to school. I was really just rushing my process instead of just enjoying it and understanding what it was and, like, learning from it. I mean, I feel like it was always there, just the dog mentality of, like, yeah, you can't guard me. Like I said, I played basketball when I was younger. So, and basketball heavy in New York. And the team I played for, we was probably the best team in the city at that point. Like, still got one of the best programs in the city now to this day. So, shout out to Moving Flies, by the way. <laughs> but, um, it was always a competitive thing with me. Like, I couldn't be, I couldn't be stopped on a basketball court. And then once I found the football love, it was like, oh, I could do this. Like I said, I could do it again. I bet, let's go do it again. And that's what it was ever since then. And then the older I got, the more I grew. And then more and more, I was just like, I bet. That's my, that's my, that's my thing. Like, I get in the field, you and me, you standing in front of me, oh yeah, you about to have a long day, bro. Cause you don't know what I'm about to throw at you. And it's a lot of doubt, don't get me wrong, it's a lot of doubt. But like I said, every time I step in between the four lines, it was like, nothing mattered. Like I knew what I had to do. Like I said, stay the course. That's it. Don't rush the process. Enjoy it. Feel me? Because that's where you're going to have the most fun at. And like, everything not going to go the way you plan. And I had to learn that. Like I said, I had a plan coming in. And it didn't go nowhere as to where I thought it was going to go. Feel me? Like, I'm sitting in Memphis right now. I didn't never think I was going to be there. But that mental resilience. Like, having that having that mentality of like, yo, like, I'm, when I step between these four lines, I'm going to be undeniable. Feel me? And then everything else, Outside of football, you just gotta learn how to manage. You know I mean? Everybody come from different places, different, different atmospheres, different sceneries. So like, everybody got different backgrounds. So you can't judge nobody on the things that they do. You just gotta tell them like, yo, if football is something you wanna do, certain way you gotta live your life. And that's what it gotta be. I mean, and for the younger guys, just play ball, bro. Do what you love to do, play ball. Don't let nothing else distract you. I love sneakers, like I said. So it's like, yeah, I want to have that benches, that thrift stuff in there. But I also want them to be able to come in and come get all the new drops and all that other I need this. I need that. I could, I could get this. Like, you feel me? Like, come and have a plan. Like, of course, like, you go into a store, you're going to know what you want to go get. But it's like, oh, I get here and like, oh, they got this too? Yeah, I need that. It's like, I'm making money at the end of the day. I want a model. I want model, bro. My pops used to model when I was younger. He was a modeler. When I was first born, he was modeling. He like stopped, like just due to the fact like he just wanted to experience my life. Like he, he a real dad. Like it's not even funny. Like he gave up everything just to like, feel me, be a part of my journey. My journey, you feel me? So that's hard. It's something he did. He made it cool to me, and I want to do it to like return the favor in a sense. But also cause like like I said, I like fashion. I like I like dressing up and stuff like that. It give, you, it give you that sense of awareness to be able to just step back, take a deep breath, and see everything that's in front of you. Feel me? And like, understand like, yo, sometimes you might have to just slow down. Sometimes you might have to just take a step back and understand what it is you got, and then put your thoughts in order, and put your plan, like your plays in order, and plans in order to maneuver through everything you got going on. Like I said, people got mad stuff going on in their life that you just don't know about. Feel me? And I wouldn't say my life hard, because I don't think it really is. Like I. 
just ain't take advantage of every opportunity I had when I was first coming up. So it was just like, I kind of made it hard for myself. But other people, they go through a lot of stuff, so you just don't know, you feel me? We blame a lot of people for our problems, bro. Ain't nobody but yourself, bro. You gotta put on this earth for a reason. Everybody got a talent, and you just gotta find what your talent is in. When you find that talent, you gotta run with it. And if you choose to run with it, that's what you choose to do. Don't look back. Yeah, so I was a, I was a baseball player to start out everything. Like I was playing t-ball early, t-ball and basketball. Uh, family friend of mine, close friend, his name Dejan. He played football for the, for, for the Giants. We was the Giants at first. Played football for them. And like I said, he was on my baseball team. He was like, yo, one day he was like, yo, you want to play ball? Like, you ever thought about playing football? And I'm like, yeah, like, I want to try it out. Went to my parents. My mom my dad was like, all right. Like, my pops was on a tight time. Like, bro, you sure that's what you want to do? Like, you you play ball. Like, it's a different it's a different story. Like, you're not, you shooting jump shots. You're going out there in the field. You're going to get hit. Like, you feel me? you hitting balls off the tee. And all that I got, yeah, so it's about to be a physical sport. My mom was all in. She was like, that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. My mom played lacrosse, so she was heavy on it. Like, she wanted me to play lacrosse, so football was the closest thing to that. So it was like, all right, bet. Like, he'll do it. I got in, started playing. I never get my first game. I got smacked, like, early. Knocked out. Like, I was on 145th, too, right there. Like, uh, you know, you know, you don't know Tim. I don't think you know Tim. He played for the Crusaders. I grew up with bro. But, uh, yeah, I got laid out, and then, like, Follow and play. No, not the follow and play. The follow and drive, we got the ball, and I took it for, like, 99. And from there, it was over. It was literally over. Like, that's when I knew. That's when I knew. I was like, oh, yeah, I could do this. I could hit people and then go score a touchdown. What did that feel like, Nuts. your first touchdown? You took it nine. Like, what was that? I don't know. I, I still don't know to this day how I really felt in the moment. But, like, just, like, replaying it in my head, seeing it. Like, I could still see myself running. Yeah. So, it was just, like, I don't know. Like, now... It's more like exciting feeling. Like that's where I found my love at. Like that was it was literally that day. Like I'm like, oh yeah, I really want to do this for real. For real. Nah, I don't think so. I just like me personally. I just started like getting into it for real, for real. Like understanding what yeah, mental health. Like, yeah, actually, what mental health actually is. You feel me? So I got a good friend of mine that's she working to be. In that, in that world, and she put me on about a lot of stuff. She opened my eyes to a lot of stuff about like just how people think and how the brain works. How it's one of the strongest muscles in your body. And, like going through certain things take a toll. I wouldn't sit here and tell you it wasn't any struggles. Uh, my struggles is my struggles, though. Private guy. What I would say about my struggles, though, is like I learned that it was all on me. And I was really the one putting myself in those situations. Like I said, you being a football player, you don't got much obligation, but to go to school and play football, all the other outside stuff, you gotta learn how to manage. And Cap, once you learn how to manage that, your life become easier, it becomes simpler. But it go back to what you said about the whole like mental health and athletes talking to athletes about it, cause that's literally what it'd be like. It'd be like the athletes, like not being able to sit with their brother and be like, Yo, bro, I did this today. What you think about it? And for that brother to be like, all right, bro, maybe you reacted that way because that's how you was feeling, but you were wrong. You feel me? And having somebody that you trust tell you you're wrong, like, that's really what it'd be a lot. Like, you got to have people that you trust in your corner, the people that's going to tell you, like, yo, you're not always doing the right thing. You can't always get patted on your back. And that's what I feel like the problem with athletes come. Like, they get patted on your back. And then they get smacked in the face with a situation that they're not ready for, they never experienced. And it's like, what do I do? I don't know how to handle it. Like I said, there's different aspects that go into that because like, you don't know what people dealing with every day. You don't know what they're going through in their everyday life. First experience, first time I ever experienced that had to be, it was, I think it was my sophomore year. Maybe it was my sophomore year. It was my sophomore year, my freshman year, playing against Northwestern. Like I said, it was my freshman year, playing Northwestern at home. Uh, first four games, I like, kind of build it up into that like role of playing more and more. Wasn't really starting yet. Uh, after that fourth game, I got into like a little role freshman year and I was actually playing. I played in all 12 games, but that Northwestern game was one of them games where it was a close game. And it was about to be our first in-conference win. And a lot of stuff added up to that point to where we got to that third down and short. And 
it was up to us to convert. And maybe we have a chance at winning the game, even though we were still down. But we didn't convert. I dropped the pass. I had one drop that game. I was getting blasted on Twitter. Like, but I had to sit there, look at it, and part of me wanted to respond because it's just like, bro, everybody got a self-defense mechanism in their body where it's just like, bro, you're not about to toss me no type of way. I put my all in this. Like, it's quiet. But I had to check myself like, bro, I can't pay attention to that. And that was like one of my first like encounters with like the media and having to realize like, yo, nobody could do what you do. And the only way like you could really like, the only way it really touch you for real, for real is if you're not doing everything you're supposed to do. Feel me? And I feel like that's where people go wrong. Like you ain't gotta respond all the time. And yet again, they're not a part of your everyday life, like you said. So they don't know. Don't let them do what you do. Work. <laughs> go to work and respond. Favorite thing about football? Gotta be getting in the paint. Gotta be getting in the end zone. No matter if it's me or somebody in my room, like one of my teammates, obviously, but like that receiver room. Our receiver room close knits. You see it. You see it starting to come alive now. Like it's starting to like roll a little bit more. Now nah, yeah. All right. So yeah. Outside of football, I model um, heavy in the fashion. So so anybody that want to work with me, hit me up. Y'all got my Twitter. Y'all got my Instagram. Let's get to work. <laughs>